We don't have much time, but what we do have is uh, an amazing set of panelists I'm about to bring up stage right now. They get you talking, literally. They shape our perceptions. We call them, in my circle, mavens. If we really want to rebrand this country, we can use them. If they allow us to use them. First, I'll bring up stage Lala Akindoju. She's an actress. Eku Edowa. She's a TV host. How many of you know Studio 53? And of course, Toke Makinwa. She's an on air personality. Amora Oboli, she's an actress too. And the man in the midst of this man, uh, oh, ladies, Ferdinand Adimefe, he's a brand and communications consultant. It is a terrible crime to mispronounce names in my profession, so I apologize. Omoni Oboli. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. <laughs> Am I not just very privileged to... <laughs> uh, are they yeah. Sorry. Um, I just wanted to emphasize, we are very short for time. This is live. Okay. So please, to all the uh, panelists, please do make your comments as brief. Maybe 10 seconds. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Hello? Okay, great. First, let me say you all look amazing, including the man. <laughs> the man. <laughs> How important, and this is the only question I'm going to ask you. You're all going to respond to it in your own ways. How important is it for our generation to be perceived as people who know what they're doing? You are in this business. You generate perception. You create, you make people talk. However way you want to look at it, you make people talk. Uh, uh, an elder state man in this country once said that, oh, you know, you, you don't look like you. <laughs> you young people, you, you're not ready to lead this country. And that statement, a lot of people have reacted to it and all of that. I will start with you, Toke. How important is it for us to be perceived that we know what we're doing and we can get done? Um, thank you very much. I think it's very important. It's 105, 150% important for you uh, to lend out your voice, be a part of change with everything you do, however, you know, whatever field you find yourself in, your perception, how you're perceived. And you know, a lot of Nigerians, a lot of Nigerians our age believe that we're not giving the opportunity to, you know, and I like to tell people, we cannot wait for that opportunity. You have to be the voice of action. It happens with, I mean, it, it boils down to your day-to-day okay. -day living. It boils down to you driving on the road, seeing a traffic light and obeying traffic laws. It boils down to you stop being a victim and start being a believer. Being a believer of the change that we believe in. Being a believer that come tomorrow, come today, I will do my own little piece, my own little bit to make Nigeria just a bit more bearable. For the next person next to me, start at your workplace, your colleagues, your neighbors. You don't really have to be the president or be the oh, governor yeah. to make that change. Let's quickly hear from her. Um, I think it's extremely important that um, people know that this generation knows what they're doing because our leaders must know that they are handing something over to a people that will not make a mess of what they've tried to build. And then because we're, we're so quick to point fingers and we're so quick to talk about the mistakes of the older generation, okay. we need to show that one, we're ready to learn, two, we're, we're ready to open ourselves up not to make the same mistakes that they made, and we're ready to take things over from where they have left off. So, so it's important that we, we, we learn that voice. It's important that we show ourselves to the people who absolutely understand what it means to be a part of change. Okay. 
All right, let me twist the question a little bit. Are there things in, in process that you are doing? Because once you start doing Echo, a lot of older girls around the world want to do it like you. You know what I mean? Are there things that you're doing in the process that can help, you know, engineer that change in, in young people? I think it's very, I think it's very easy um, to sit at home and say, I would like to do something um, without realizing the steps that you have to take to get there. Um, I think it's, you have to know what you're doing. So therefore, if you choose to be in entertainment, you have to know the field. You have to educate yourself, and you have to be the difference that you want to see. You can't say, oh, this person has got this because they have that, or this or that. No, you have to say that, I want to be that, and how will I get to be that? And that will come from educating yourself, bettering yourself, learning more, because gone are the days where if you do the basic requirements, right. you will get a return. Okay. You have to go above and beyond. You have to be the educator and educate and educate yourself. Okay. I'm like, sorry. Uh, you make movies. That's what you do for a living. And you know how much Nollywood is doing doing across the, the continent. What will you do? Or what are you doing to make sure that we sustain this change? A lot of people are looking up to you. Okay, um, I always say be the change you want to see. Now, a lot of people are looking up to all of us, not just me. And we're all on, so you. We're, <laughs> we're all on social media. And, right. you know, we say whatever we want to say. It's free for all nowadays. You know, everyone can say anything. You know, but I, I always say we shouldn't wash our dirty linen in public. Not just as entertainers, but as a country as a whole. You know, it, it's, it's good to criticize. It's good to... Um, um, tell people what to do when they're doing the wrong thing. But the minute we start doing all that on social media, the world is watching. The world is listening. Right. You know, so if your, your per perception is reality. Right. You know what I mean? So when they're looking at us as, oh, this is how they are, because this is how they talk on okay. social media, Absolutely. then that becomes our reality as entertainers, so as a work. nation, as a whole. Right. So it's hard work for you uh, in the end. You're a brand ambassador, you... It does. It's actually everything. Uh, the level of preparation you put into something is the level of preparation you get out of it. Right. If we want to see change in Nigeria, I think we need to prepare more. We need to collaborate more. Because personally, I don't think APTA and PDP will give us a better future. They've given us the words they can give us. It's time for us to rise up. Maybe a third political party owned by young people, managed by young people. I think that's the generation. That's the direction we need to take this. I don't know what I'm going to It is deeper than that. And until we own that platform and give them the alternative they can provide, they will see the solutions that we need. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to round up on this beautiful note. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. The conversation continues, and you remember that you have to start to pedal on all of this information that these beautiful people, our speakers, have given today. I'm going to hand over back to Oscar. And Thank Maria. you very much, Odessa. Um, once again, a round of applause for panelists. Uh, we're not asking you to leave. But uh, you can step down for now. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, time is fast spent, so we're moving on to the next uh, item. We have uh, two inspirations.